I want to try live streaming. Here we are, the final major project, one that puts a ribbon on the first set of four projects, streaming. How do I introduce streaming? It's so ubiquitous in this day and age, it would almost be redundant to do so. Maybe a decade ago at the inception of Twitch or when it was a big deal when sporting events were live streamed, but today streaming is everywhere. News broadcasts are streamed, podcasts are streamed, people live stream themselves drawing, creating music, sharpening pencils. Hololive is all about streaming and many websites introduced some form of streaming. I've said and typed streaming so much, the word is starting to look weird. So why streaming? Well, let's jump forward to my end goal. I love video games. I've grown up with them from a young age and my most beloved, one might say dearly beloved, franchises is Kingdom Hearts. All the way back when I was a young lad, no older than seven or eight, picking up the first game in an EB Games bargain bin to the culmination of the first trilogy in Kingdom Hearts 3, I've played each and every game except for Coded and the recent Melody of Memories. I've beaten all the mainline games on critical mode and beaten all of the super bosses too, even Yazora. I love the story, as wonderfully flawed as it is, and I love the characters. So when I was thinking of things I want to do, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to stream a Kingdom Hearts marathon, the three mainline series games in one sitting? I'd also be keen to do it as a charity stream as well. However, I am by no means a speedrunner, and no doubt completing all three games would take me northwards of 30 hours, especially if I did it now. Another issue is that if I just started streaming Kingdom Hearts as I am now, I wouldn't really raise much, if any, money for charity. Nobody knows who I am, and I'd imagine that I probably wouldn't be particularly interesting to watch on a live stream. I've never broadcasted live, and all my videos follow a script of varying looseness. Also, the fun part of watching a marathon stream is watching the streamers slowly lose their mind, and if I'm trying to stay anonymous, that's going to be hard to do. So, I've got some things that I need to achieve to even have a hope of having an engaging charity stream, and also managing to complete it. Number one, working on my streaming manner. Interacting with an audience, being engaging to watch, not just sitting quietly gaming. Number two, having something interesting to watch to represent me. I've got plans for this, but it's going to be difficult for a streaming newbie like myself to set up. Number three, get faster at Kingdom Hearts. I'm not aiming for records or anything, but if I can cut down the time to something reasonable like an average of seven hours per game, that would be great. I just check the speedrun records and geez, people beat these games quickly. This will let me do something cool with the marathon, like randomizing which difficulty I beat each game at or something. Number four, build an audience. This will obviously be affected by how well I improve my streaming manner and what I stream prior to the marathon. I may just be hopeless and not draw any audience, in which case the charity stream may not be worthwhile. But the only way to draw an audience is to start streaming, so I'll just hope for the best. With those end goals in mind, let's come up with a plan. First step of a plan is planning, yada yada, I've said this several times now. Next is figuring out how to actually stream. First step is determining where to stream. The two biggest streaming platforms are Twitch and YouTube. It may be the case that I just create accounts for both so I can test them both out, i.e. creating a second channel for YouTube. I'm tentatively thinking want to or want streams, wants? Or maybe that gaming tag I keep harping on about. Twitch will be much the same deal. I've literally never streamed before, except on Discord, so I've got no clue about the process of streaming for either platform. The second thing that I'll need is to play spot the difference on the terms and conditions. I know, through watching other people stream, that there are some rules around music that I may have to be extra cautious of, and conversely, that there is music that is safe to stream with. Next is how to stream. Also from watching streams, I know of something called OBS. No clue what it stands for or how it works, but from what I gather you essentially route whatever you're playing or doing, your webcam, and any other overlay items into a single display that you want to stream. 
or at least that's what I understand without any investigation. It seems to be the standard for streaming, so it's definitely something I'll need to figure out. Another part of how to stream is getting my consoles hooked up. Now, I know that Kingdom Hearts has relatively recently been ported to PC, but I'm not super keen on repurchasing the entire series, so if possible, I'll need to figure out how to get my PS4, and potentially any other console, hooked into my PC to stream. I'll probably need some additional equipment to do it too, so looking into that stuff will be required as well. The final step of how is anonymity. This will be interesting. Across my Steam and other accounts, as well as my general PC settings, my real name is definitely present in all manner of places. There definitely should be a way to restrict what's being streamed, not streaming an entire screen for one, but I'll need to do some dry runs to make sure I'm not giving myself away. I do play some online games with friends, but that might be too risque, as much as I pre-warned them not to use my real name, odds are that they'll slip, probably when telling me off. Sadly, that means if I'm going to be playing multiplayer games, I'll have to do so without my mates. Next is what I'll stream. Now yes, there'll be some gaming, but I actually plan on using streaming to further my other goals. So I'll stream Chinese practice, drawing and animating, even voice acting practice. On the video creation side, it may be fun to stream my background track creation process. The difficult part is coming up with a streaming schedule. Much like my video production schedule, it's erratic to say the least, and depending on the whims of life, it'd be difficult to book in a consistent time to stream. I've been moving towards doing my practice stuff in the morning, so maybe instead of aiming to do long multi-hour streams, I'll do shorter morning streams semi-regularly, and then longer streams when I have time available. If life stabilizes somewhat, I may be able to spare a semi-consistent afternoon once each week or fortnight for a longer stream. Now, the biggest curveball of the plan, my avatar. People, at least from what I gather, like to watch other people streaming so that they can see their reactions. I'm not doing that, but what about a placeholder? I'm a big fan of the potato cam, and that can be a placeholder for a time, but what about something more ambitious? What about turning myself into an anime character? I've done some Googling and it looks like it could be possible to create myself a responsive avatar, and I mean that literally too, create myself. Obviously at this point I still can't draw, but wouldn't it be a good digital drawing goal to achieve? There appears to be limitations in the free version, but I like a challenge. I can't particularly think of anything else, aside from the technical aspect potentially blocking me. Streaming is just one of those things, like many goals, where the hardest step is actually just getting started. It's why I created this YouTube channel after all, to help me take those first, most difficult steps. Even without prep, I reckon I could register a Twitch or YouTube account and start streaming whatever. I mean, I'd probably give my identity away, and it would likely be laggy and even more unprofessional than what my initial planned stream is going to be, but it would still be a stream. Alright, plan aside, let's define those goals. I'm liking only having a couple of well-defined goals, the over a dozen goals of learning Chinese are still haunting me, so I'm going to keep things simple. So, digital avatar aside, I think this plan has one very clear goal. In eight weeks time, I want to stream something via OBS on either YouTube or Twitch for a minimum of half an hour. I think making this goal a smart goal is important, as opposed to an arms goal. The time-bound nature will hopefully get me in gear and doing research early, and not just putting off that first stream. As I said, the first step is the hardest. What will I stream? Don't know, and it doesn't really matter. Probably something mundane, like a practice of some description. Maybe a game. My most legitimate worry is that the stream will lag due to my terrible Aussie internet connection. But the most important thing is just starting. A second, more minor goal, I want to find three hours of stream-friendly music. Obviously, this is less important and more of a quality of life goal. Goal practice will get a little mundane without some pleasant background music to listen to while I'm doing it. I'm sure little goals like this will increase when I actually start streaming, and I learn the ins and outs of it. I can already think of creating custom emotes and stuff for chat. But music is the only one that, as a musician, is important for me to achieve starting out. 
I won't actually make a goal for creating the responsive avatar, not yet anyway. I need to investigate a little more and make sure my computer can handle streaming before it tries to handle streaming plus a responsive avatar. It would be cool to stream the creation of the avatar as well. For now, getting the potato face placeholder will suffice. And I do actually find it pretty amusing anyway, so no rush. With those two goals defined, it's time to start practicing. Doing some dry runs, I'll record myself acting as if I'm streaming, review and see if there's anything I've overlooked in regards to privacy, get familiar with streaming tech, that is to say OBS, and whatever I'm going to be using to hook up my consoles, and get ready for the big day. How exciting! Place your bets now for how many viewers the first stream will have. I bet it'll just have one. Because I'll ask my honey to watch it. Har har. Alright, another short video it seems, but the Valentine's Day one was extra long, so I give myself a pass. I'm sure the next video where I'll go into detail about learning OBS and all of the various things required to start streaming will be much longer. If you're interested in finding out how I learned how to stream, or interested in watching me stream, subscribe to be notified. If you've done streaming yourself, what was your experience? Which platform did you use, and what was something that was unexpected? I'm going to need all the help I can get, and I'd love to hear from you. After all, it's we attempt new things, not I attempt new things. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a fruitful day.